What's up guys, Evil D here, and I'm back for some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons now. I'm trying to keep it down because my missus is asleep behind me right now. So this will be an interesting lesson in that respect. Now, we'll just start with a little bit of revision from what we've previously learned. So what was the word for leaf? Hmm? It was folio. Folio. And what was the word for giant? It was giganto, giganto. And do you remember how to say in front of? It was antal, antal. And what about behind? But don't use malantal. It was post, post. And how do you say, uh, give me the bottle? So remember, it's a command. Donu al mi la botellon. Donu al mi la botellon. Okay, and how do you say um, she gave him the bottle? She donis ali la botellon. Or you could say she donis la botellon ali. It's up to you. And what about wrapped up? We learned this one a few lessons back, but we haven't really used it since. It is raptoro, raptoro. And do you remember how to say a um, herd of cows? This was another one we learnt, but we didn't really use. Bovado, bovado. Now, the final practice word we'll learn from previously was with. Do you remember how to say with? It is kun, kun. So how do you say with me? Me. So, based on that and what you've previously learned, how would you say, um, do you want to walk with me? Chu vi volas idi kun mi. Chu vi volas idi kun mi. And how would you say, yes, I want to walk with you? Yes, mi volas idi kun vi. Okay, now what we're going to learn is first up how to say how many, okay? So the word for how many is kion, kion. But since how many is asking for an amount um, per se, like it's, it's looking for a number, it will be followed pretty much always by the word da. And you remember what da is? It means of, but it's looking for something that's a um, quantity, a distance, a weight, something like that. So ki on da is pretty much the typical way of saying how many. So based on what you already know, how would you say how many um, mobs are in front of me? Ki on da estajoi estas antal mi. But with these mobs, they're pretty humanoid, so you could probably say Kion da estuloi estas antal mi. And this one was hiding behind the tree. How would you say, um, she es... Oh, sorry, she... <laughs> I just told you the answer. How would you say she was behind the tree? She estis malantau la arbo. She estis malantau la arbo. Cool. Now I'm just going to quickly heal up because I'm taking a bit of a beating at the moment. So, how would you say um, how many mobs are in front of me? Kion da estuloi estas antal mi. And how do you think we would say um, there is three mobs in front of me? Estas tri estuloi antal mi. And now you notice how I started with estas. I explained this a little bit in the previous lessons. Uh, in a previous lesson. Whenever you're saying there are and you're not actually talking about the location, you just say estas. So estas tri estuloi antal mi. And how would you say the mob um, is next to the tree? La estulo estas apud la arbo. 
la estulo estas apud la arbo. Okay, so how would we say, based on what you know, um, how many uh, trees are there there, like physically? So how many trees are there? Kiom da arboi estas tie. And how would you say there is two trees there? Uh, there is two trees there. Estas du arboi tie. Estas du arboi tie. Now, what we're going to learn now is also how to say why. Okay? So, why in Esperanto is kiao. So, how do you think, based on what you know, um, would you say, um, why do you like to walk? Kial vishatas idi. Kial vishatas idi. And the typical response to why is because. And the word for because in this sense is chad. Chad. So, how would you say because I like to walk? Chad mi shatas iri. Chad mi shatas iri. And how would you say, um, why does the hippogriff fly? Kial la hippogrifo flugas. And how would you respond with, because um, it wants to fly? Chad givolas flugi. Chad givolas flugi. Now you can see already, based on those very limited number of verbs that we've learned, we're already fully building sentences, only like 14 lessons into this Esperanto course. So we're doing pretty good, I reckon, so far. So, now you've probably noticed that when you kill these guys, or when they kill me, we pretty much, just before we die, we always try to flee. And in gaming, fleeing is a word you probably need to know. So, the verb to flee is fuji. Fuji. So, how would you say, I want to flee because she wants to kill me? Now, you know kill. So, I'm going to give you a bit of a time to just try this one on. Mi volas fuji, chad, she volas moditigi min. So, if you got that, your Esperanto is getting, getting, <laughs> is getting really good. So, how do you say, why does she want to kill me? Kial, she volas moditigi min. And how would you say, oh actually, I'm going to teach you now how to say enemy. So you know the word for friend, I taught that to you a few lessons back. And the word for friend is amico. Amico. So, based on what you know, using certain suffixes I've already taught you, how would you say enemy? Now, you remember the suffix for opposite, it is mal. So, what's the opposite of a friend? An enemy. So, malamico is enemy. So, why, how would you say, um, why does the enemy want to kill me? Kial la malamico valas moditigi min. Now, I probably, in that time frame, just didn't give you enough to respond, so sorry about that. That happens every now and then. Okay. How would you say, um, the enemy wants to flee? La malamico volas fuji. La malamico volas fuji. Now, what I'm going to teach you is the word for between, okay? And the word for between is interred. Interred. Now, how would you say, let's have a look around. The tent is between the trees. Now, using interred and everything else I've taught you, how would you say the tent is between the trees? La tendo estas inter la arboi. La tendo estas inter la arboi. Okay, and how would you say how many enemies are between the trees? Q 
Kiom da malamikoi estas inter la arboj? Kiom da malamikoi estas inter la arboj? And how would you say how many enemies are behind me? Kiom da malamikoi estas malantau mi? And it looks like there's probably two, so how would you say there's two enemies behind me? Estas du malamikoi malantau mi? And how do you say, why do you want to flee? Kial vi volas fuji? Kial vi volas fuji? And how would you respond with, because she wants to kill me? Chad she volas modetigi min. Chadashi volas modetigi min. Okay, now let's try. We'll just review a few more sentences because I reckon we, we're almost near the end of this lesson already. Now I know I haven't taught you that many words, but I wanted to really grill into you these grammar concepts so that we can start forming some proper sentences. So how would you say he is next to the tree? Li estas apud la arbo. Li estas apud la arbo. And how would you say, why does he want to flee? Kia li volas fuji. And then how would you say, because I want to kill him. Chad mi volas modetigilin. Okay, what have I got to do now? Let's just quickly check the map where we got to go. Ooh, I should go down here and do whatever these are. Hand in the quests as well along the way. So what was the word for between? It is inter. So we're just going to head down south and by the time we get down there, that should be the end of the lesson. We'll just practice a few things along the way. So how would you say how many trees are in front of me? Kiom da arboi estas antau mi? And then how would you say there is three trees next to me? Estas tri arboi apud mi? Because we are standing next to him now. And how would you say how many enemies are in front of me? Kiom da malamikoi estas antau mi? And how would you say um, there is two enemies next to the tree? Estas du malamikoi apud la arbo. Estas du malamikoi apud la arbo. Oh my god. Oh, that just scared the hell out of What the? That hippogriff just randomly killed that, that person. You monster! Okay, anyway, moving forward. What was the word for deer? The word for deer was tsurvo. Tsurvo. And I've decided to go up here because I just want to do this. This sounds awesome. Okay, and how would you say, um, why does the hippogriff like to fly? Kia la hippogrifo shatas flugi? <laughs> yes, got him. <laughs> I don't know why, I just wanted to shoot this one. Oh, can I? Why can't I? Oh, okay, I thought I couldn't attack it then because of some type of glitch. Okay, and how would you say, because it likes to fly? Chad G Shatas Flugi. Good enough reason, it just wants to. Okay. Now, let's just quickly loot this one up. We've finished with a couple of more words and then we should be there. Done, skits. Okay, and how would you say, I'm walking um, next to the mountain? Mi iras apud la monto. And how would you say, I'm walking above the house because we're about to? Mi iras super la domo. Mi iras super la domo. I wonder if there's someone up here. Oh, there is too, so I can repair my stuffs. 
Anyway, so we'll try one last sentence for the day and then we will call it quick. So how would you say, um, I want to fly? Mi volas flugi. Almost said fuji. So uh, that was like me, I want to um, flee. But yeah, that, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to say. Anyway, if you liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, you better fuji or I will find you. <laughs>